Good afternoon once again and good evening to all those who are in the Philippines. Nawa ang bawat isa ay nasa maayos na kalalagayan at uh, malalakas ang espirito. Men, are we strong today? We need to be very strong. Amen. We really need to be very strong inside in our spirit man because we are in a different time zone. We are in a different dispensation. In other words, nasa ibang kapanahonan na tayo mga bata na hindi pwede maging casual, na hindi tayo pwede maging careless, lalo na hindi pwede maging kalos. Everyone must be alert, must be watchful and mindful what we are doing, what we are thinking, what we are taking in, everything. Because we are in a different dispensation. Ang kapanahunan natin ay hindi basta-basta maging careless lang tayo. Okay? That's why we are in this training. To be in this training is a privilege. Ang select arrow ay hindi ito obligation. Kapag dumating sa point na naging obligation na sa inyo ang select arrow, check, reflect, something is wrong. Hindi si Lord ang may mali. Pag may mga sitwasyon tayo na hindi ayon sa expectation natin, tayo dapat agad ang nagre-reflect. Tayo dapat agad ang nag-evaluate. I want to remind everybody that the select arrow training or session is not a responsibility that, I mean, it's not an obligation. Pag dumating na sa point na naging obligation na lang sa inyo ang every Saturday, 1.30 or 6.30 sa Philippines, Check. Kasi it is a privilege that we are being built by the spirit dimension and by the word dimension. Lahat tayo nasa privilehyong sitwasyon. Kaya ipagpasalamat natin ito sa Panginoon. Amen? So, before we start our new series, I just want to remind everybody that we need to posture ourselves to capture things in the spirit or to capture things of the spirit. As usual, I cannot see you on screen because I need to sustain one and a half hour with the balance that I really need for this session. Okay, so spiritual things are not taught. It is always caught. Tatandaan natin, learn how to receive and capture the spirit of the word. Every time we have session like this, we need to learn how to receive or we need to learn how to posture ourselves to capture, to catch something in the spirit, okay? Because we should remember that the word of God is not for the mind, but for the heart. If you can say it after me, let's do it together. The word of God is not for my mind, but for my heart. In other words, God's word is not to feed our mind, but it is for our spiritual feeding, spiritual food. Whatever is in our mind that is not of God, clear it out immediately. Knock them down because it can sabotage us. Okay, God's word is the food of the spirit. Do you agree with me? In the word of God that man shall not live by bread alone, but by the word that proceeded out from the mouth of God. So the food of our inner man is God's word, the word. Say after me, the food of my spirit is the word. Not the worldly word, ha? but God's word. Kaya titingnan natin, ano ba ang pinapakain natin sa spirit man natin? Titingnan natin yon. It is the word from the enemy, the worldly word, earthly things. Pag hindi natin pinipid ang ating inner man, ang ating spirit ng hindi mula sa Panginoon, we will become a mixture. And mixture cannot stand in the days to come. During difficult days, only Christ can stand. Only the Christ that grow in us, that matured in us, can stand in the difficult time in the difficult days so when when we wake up in the morning and we feel that we are hungry for god and for more of god's word it means your inner man is healthy 
craving for what is divine, craving for what is superior material, craving for what is supernatural, the Word of God. But if when we wake up, when we wake up, for example, this morning, we are no longer craving for what is divine, for what is of God, and what is the superior material, which is God's Word, it means may karamdaman ang spirit man natin. So check it out. Mga bata, minamahal kong mga bata, i-check natin. Our inner man must be healthy every moment, not just every day, but every moment. We need to check what we are craving. Craving sa social media ba yan na kinikrave at ano ang kinikrave dun sa social media? Remember, we have the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. But the tree of knowledge of good and evil is still evil by nature. Ang pinaka-safe is to just take, draw, receive from the tree of life and that is Jesus Christ. And the Lord Jesus Christ comes to us in a form of word, of His word, of God's word. So yun ang titingnan natin lagi. So are we in a posture to catch something in the spirit and of the spirit? Always remember that the food of your inner man to grow, to be healthy, is the word of God. The clean. We need to be clean, clear, and uncontaminated. Kaya check natin lahat-lahat sa ating espirito. Malalaman natin paano mag-check sa espirito. We need to be very careful even more, especially in this era of social media. Our mainstream is very dangerous. If we are not strong enough in our spirit and we are not walking and operating in the superior discernment and superior wisdom of God, we are in a very dangerous position when you are engaging in the social media and the mainstream. It's not bad, but how we are posturing or yeah, posturing ourselves when we are engaging into that source. Mahirap na kasi kung maging mixture tayo at maging maging kontaminado. Whose words are we listening and partaking is most vital because um, a mixture starts when we are taking materials in words from the mainstreams that is not potent or that is not ab that is not the absolute the word of God. So let us all learn together today how to navigate in the spiritual realm because we are going to open another series of lesson how to operate in the kingdom dynamic or the title of our series from today is living in the kingdom dynamics it means or basically walking or operating in the dimension of the spirit everybody must believe that there is a spiritual realm do you agree do you agree? Okay. In Genesis chapter 1, let's go to Genesis chapter 1. If you have your Bible with you, let's open our Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning, when we say Genesis, it is the beginning. Kaya Genesis because it's the beginning. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. If you could see the heavens, it's not just a singular word, but it's a plural word. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So two dimension. God created the heavenly realms and the earth. Pero maraming heavens. Kasi plural lang nakalagay dyan. It means my heaven, first heaven, second heaven, and third heaven. But we are not going to discuss it right now which is which, but the third heaven is where the abode of God, the throne of God. So in the first heaven, I think it's the spiritual realm where also the presence of the enemy is there uh, above us, but we cannot see it in our natural eyes. The material that God used in creating the heaven and the earth is the same. I believe it's the same. Pero tingnan natin, bakit nagkaroon ng ganito? Nasa earth, I know, may chaos. Sa langit, ay wala. 
So the, those who are taking notes, just put this down. The heavenly dimensions and the earthly dimensions. Let's start in the earth. The earthly dimensions first. We will discuss this for, for our foundation for this series. This is 10 dimensions of earthly dimensions. Those who are taking notes, you can write this down. This is, of course, the source of our lessons is always from Papa Jonathan David through Papa Jonathan David and Mama La. When we outwork it in our lives, it becomes alive to us. That's why it's very important. So the earthly dimensions, number one, the dimensions of physical, tangible. The earth is tangible. We can touch it, right? We can feel it. The next dimension of the earth is the dimensions of temporal. There's only a time period. Pag nasa earth, temporary. Kaya lahat ng mga material na in natin sa earth is temporary. Because only the word, the God's word is eternal. The, the third dimensions of earthly, of the earth is of natural. The dimensions of natural. Fourth is the dimensions of limited. My limitation. We are limited in the earth. There is limitations on the earthly dimensions. Fifth dimensions of the earth is incomplete. Incomplete. Kahit na anong gusto mong makompleto, at the end of the day, there is incompleteness that you can feel it. Parang akala mo tapos ka na, nakagraduate ka na. May masteral pa pala. Nagtapos ka ng masteral, may PhD pa pala. Pagdating mo ng PhD, may another specialization pa pala. Kaya... Sa kingdom, ang qualification is the stature of Christ, hindi yung mga PhD, PhD na yan o masteral, masteral na yan. But I am not saying that it's not good, but it's not the most vital or priority when it comes to building the Christ in our lives. Number six dimension of earthly is perishable. Perishable. It can be destroyed. It can be damaged. Oh, perishable. Okay, next. Earthly, when we say earthly, subject to decay, to decline in death. Earthly, dimensions of earthly. Next, dimensions of curse. So earth, anything that is on the earth can be cursed. Tainted, can be contaminated. Anything that is in the earth can be contaminated. Can be cursed. Kaya nga righteousness ang pinapairal sa atin ni Lord. Because when we are living in righteousness, operating in the kingdom, the curse must just be bound. Well, pag walang kasalanan na nakita sa atin ang curse, sabi sa Proverbs, it will just bounce back. Hindi tayo tatablan ng anumang sumpa. The dimensions of progressive. There is progression in the earth. Did you see the technology, the breakthrough in science, the breakthrough in technology, etc., etc.? Did you observe Elon Musk, how he break through things in the area of science and technology? Because the earthly dimensions, one of it is progressiveness. Progressive, my development. It grows, it develops, it progress. And then 10 dimensions of redeemable. Although the earthly things is can be tainted or contaminated, but it can be redeemed. That's why Jesus Christ was sent by the God the Father to redeem you and me. And when we are redeemed, the earth shall be redeemed. Do you agree with me? When we grow in Christ's dynamic, when we speak, when we prophesy, when we preach, when we decree His word in the spiritual realm, things are in motion to be in alignment to what God is saying upon the earth. So, nariridim, it can be restored. The earthly dimension or, yeah, the things in the earth can be restored, can be reformed, can be reformatted. So, redeemable. That's why we are redeemed. Say to yourself, I am redeemed by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Do you agree with that? We are saved. We are on earth, but we are redeemed by the precious blood of the Son, Jesus, the begotten Son, Jesus Christ. 
sent by the Father for you and for me to be redeemed, to be saved, to have and receive eternal salvation, eternal destiny, eternal life. And that is our portion. Believe that you are there now. You are positioned in that redeemed position of life. Amen? Now let's go to heaven. Are we ready? Let's go to heaven. When I'm speaking to you, catch up the spirit. Okay? Let's go to heaven, to the spiritual realm. Number one, the dimensions of the supernatural. Hallelujah. Do you believe this? Next, the dimensions of the spiritual. Dimensions of the spiritual. The body is not allowed there. Stature ang kailangan doon. Okay? Kaya nga, when we cross over, the body is left behind the earth, but the stature is there. Reporting to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. Amen? So the dimensions of the divine, that is the third dimension, divine, holy, holy, okay? The dimensions of the heavenly, heavenly is superior, in heaven is, is squeaky clean, no contamination at all, very, very clean. And then the dimensions of the eternal, without end. How would you like to become a part of the eternal kingdom of God? How would you like to become a part of the eternal kingdom of God? Amen. And then of the incorruptible. The dimensions of the incorruptible. Next, the dimensions of the invisible. Invisible of this naked eye. We cannot see it naturally, but in the spirit, we can see it. And so the dimension of the imperishable. Hindi na sisira. This is number eight. The dimensions of the imperishable. It cannot be rotten. Next, the dimensions of the pattern. When we say pattern, the blueprint, the model. model. So when you are going to start a business, you should draw from heaven first of the blueprint about your business. Because any business that we started without blueprint, pag sinabing blueprint, without the word from God, it is collapsible because kung earth live, earth bound lang, earth bound, hindi from heaven. So that is the dimensions of the pattern, model, and blueprint. And then last, the heavenly dimensions of the perfection. Perfect. So heaven is perfect. So pag uh, nag-crossover na tayo, Kung anong naabot natin na stature dito sa lupa, doon wala nang progress. Yun na, nag-stop na, doon na lang. Kaya nga, kung mayroon man tayong ipapanalangin ngayon, Lord, maglumago po ako sa Christ dimension para pagdating doon, hindi tayo tagalinis ng kingdom. Tagalinis na tayo dito, maglilinis pa tayo doon. Kailangan may position tayo pagdating doon. We should work. In the spirit, so that there you have a position. Malay mo ikaw ang pamahala ng isang probinsya, governor kapag dating doon. Because stature doon ang qualification. It's not about what we have finished in the, on the earth. It's about the stature of Christ, the character, the perspective of Christ, the way Christ thinks, the way Christ speaks, the way Christ behaves. Yun ang binibuild sa atin ng Panginoon. Okay. So, ulitin ko. Earthly dimensions is of physical, temporal, natural, limited, incomplete, perishable, earthly, cursed, progressive, but redeemable. Hallelujah. May pag-asa pag nasa earth. Depende lang sa attitude. Okay. But in heaven, it is of the supernatural, spiritual, Divine, heavenly, eternal, incorruptible, invisible, imperishable. It is a pattern of what is going to be established on the earth and perfect, perfection. So did you receive it? So in heaven, engage 
Mga ma mga bata, mga minamahal kong mga select arrow, please do engage your spirit with, with what I'm saying. Just receive it directly to your spirit. When it resonates, say yes and amen so that it good, it will go to your spirit. In heaven, there is no questions there. Only answers and perceptions. Do you believe? So, wala nang bakit kaya nang... Because you know how to perceive things. Because, because we are all spiritual there. Tama? Okay, take note that the currency in heaven is frequency. Everybody say after me, the currency in heaven is frequency. Do you believe this? The frequency in heaven is understanding. Divine perception. You understand immediately. You know immediately. You perceive immediately when you are there in heaven, okay? In the spiritual realm. So the currency in heaven is frequency and the frequency in heaven is understanding or divine perception. When we say currency, it is a medium of exchange. Parang dito sa earth, the medium, the frequency is what? Monetary. Your bills, your coins, the monetary, your dollars, your peso, your Australian dollars, Singaporean dollars, Canadian dollars, that is currency. But in heaven, the currency there is frequency. In the spiritual realm, the currency is frequency. Okay. The frequency in heaven is understanding and divine perception. When we say frequency is the number of times, the occurrence, right? How many? Ilang beses nag-o-occur ang certain event or things. So be careful of our spiritual frequency not to be fine-tuned to the wrong frequency because the moment we are fine-tuned to the worldly frequency, we cannot perceive and we cannot receive and we cannot see things and understand what is taking place in the spiritual realm. I hope you understand it. So we really need to be so sure that our spiritual frequency is always fine-tuned to the frequency of heaven, divine frequency, not the worldly frequency. How can I know that I am fine-tuned to the worldly frequency when you worry, when you are attacked by fear, when you are anxious, when you are insecure, you are fine-tuned to the worldly frequency. Take back, fine-tune your frequency to the heaven frequency, to the kingdom of God. And what is that? Righteousness, peacefulness, joyfulness in the Holy Ghost. What is those things? What Those that are divine. When you don't have peace, it means something is wrong with your spiritual frequency. So fine-tune. How to fine-tune? I already taught you how to fine-tune. It's just like clicking or closing and opening a window in your computer screen. It's just to decide and to aggressively, strongly decide once and for all, I want to be fine-tuned to what is God's frequency and divine frequency. Is, is this clear? Because every environment has a certain frequency. In our home, in our house, there is a certain frequency. So that frequency is most of the time a result of what we carry. If we carry fear, we can influence the frequency, the atmosphere at home. If we carry joy, if we carry and operate in peace and joy and righteousness, we are influencing the atmosphere in our home, in our gathering of the family, in our, yeah, in our household. But you should learn how to Read things in the spirit. I hope after this series, you can read things in the spirit. Your divine perception grows. The way you perceive things in the spiritual mature. The way we operate in the spirit is no longer the carnal way, of course. 
because we mature in perspective. So every time we are fine-tuned to the wrong frequency, we are in a very dangerous posture. So need to go back. We really need to go back immediately in fine-tune our spiritual frequency to what is godly and divine, okay? So be very careful. When you doubt the word of God, remember, when you doubt the word of God, doubt is the voice of the devil. When you are operating already in doubt, it means you are already controlled and influenced by the demonic forces. So go back, repent, change. Remove that, knock that down, the, the spirit of doubt, knock them down from your mind, from your uh, spirit. Remove it immediately in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So when the worriness and doubt and uh, influence us, remove it immediately. It's just we really need to decide. So in a certain environment, there is a certain frequency. And if that frequency touches our spirit, touches our spirit, and then what is in our spirit captured by our mind, and when we agreed on it, and when we meditated on it, it influenced us the way we behave. So be very careful of this because whatever is in the atmosphere is a spirit that touches our spirit and it appears in our mind. And when it appears in our mind, we should test it. Test. Is this thought comes from God? If not, knock them down. If this thought comes from the Lord, if not, knock them down. Destroy it. If the thought can build you, can strengthen you in your inner man, why not accept it? Okay? I hope this is clear to us. So that is the dimensions of heaven and the earth. Our lesson objectives is number one, to know and understand how to live and operate as man of the spirit, as a son of God who carry the stature of Christ. Amen. To know and understand how to live and operate as a man of the spirit or as a son of God, a son of the living God that carry the stature of Christ. Number two, to know and understand how to ascend and descend. It means how to navigate in the spiritual realm. To know and understand how to ascend and descend in the dimension of the spirit. How would you like to have that kind of operational dynamic? Hallelujah. And then number three, to know and understand how to transact in the spirit. It means to know and understand how to behave well in the spirit. Because any misbehavior here on earth, it sends signal in the spiritual realm. And it goes etern to eternity. Ang impact is generations away. My decision today... If I'm not going to correct it along the way, it would impact my children. At kung hindi na correct sa mga anak namin, it would impact another generation. And in this must not be our portion because in the spiritual realm, in the heavenly places, it is eternal. The transaction is eternal. Kaya nga, we should behave well. My prayer that after this series, we have all the understanding, not all, because this is only a, what I'm going to teach you is this is only a, a, a part and parcel of the real heavenly dimension. Kumbaga, it is just about what I experience, what is the, 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 the understanding I have about operating in the dynamic of the spirit. So, receive an impartation every every meeting because ngayon hindi pa man natin to maintindihan but as we progress as our perception grows we are going to understand it later when the spirit of understanding comes on us ipapaliwanag niya ito sa atin kaya nga deliberate and intentional dapat ang participation natin when we have meeting and when we are not in the meeting of course the way we live because being a christian Hindi, hindi naman separate ang pag-aaral mo sa 
relasyon natin sa Panginoon. It's that, di ba? Kaya nga, life ang pinag-uusapan natin because our daily living, we should behave according to the kingdom of God. So, yun yung objective number four. To be trained and equipped as royal and regal in God's kingdom government. To be trained and equipped as royal and regal in God's kingdom government. Okay? So now, let's go. I assume that everyone read Romans chapter 8. In verse 1, There is now therefore no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Do you do you read it? Na sino man ang nasa kay Kristo, wala nang condemnation. Amen? Because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit of life set me free from the law of sin and death. Tayo ba ay nakalaya na doon sa law of sin and death? Amen, right? We are all free from the law of sin and death. We are now spirit of life of Jesus Christ, spirit of the grace that must not be abused. Okay. The builder of God's kingdom is the Holy Spirit. Do you believe this? We have the Holy Spirit, right? We already have the Holy Spirit. He is the one who is building God's kingdom in our life. When we say building God's kingdom in our lives is we are living according to the law of the kingdom, which is righteousness, peacefulness, joyfulness in the Holy Ghost. That is the culture of God's kingdom. Now, if we believe that the Holy Spirit is the builder of his kingdom, and he is in us, he is also building his kingdom in us. Right. Okay. And we need to live every day of our life nakasama ang banal na spirito. Le led by the Holy Spirit, governed by the Holy Spirit. Amen? So kung hindi natin pinapractice ang halimbawa pag pray in the Spirit, speaking in tongues, ay may problema tayo. Do we believe that when we pray in tongues, we are speaking not to men but unto God? That's why when we pray in the Holy Ghost, our inner man is going to be strengthened all the more, even more. So that's why we really need to practice how to communicate to the Holy Spirit in a new different way. We need to be led by the Holy Spirit all the time, not just when we are at home. Pagdating sa school, hindi na led by the Holy Spirit. Pagdating sa online classes, hindi na led by the Holy Spirit. Something that is need to be fixed. Pag sa bahay lang o pag may select araw, convinced na convinced that we I must be led and governed by the Holy Spirit. Pero pagdating na sa online classes, hindi na led and governed by the Holy Spirit, sino na ang nag-govern sa'yo? Tatingnan natin yun kasi ma mapupunta tayo dun sa error. And we are preventing that scenario that we can be a mixture and be found in spirit of error. And this must not be our portion. So select arrow, be watchful. That being governed and led by the Holy Spirit is a moment-by-moment -moment way of living. Okay? So let us all posture in prayer. Let us touch the heaven and pray right now before we go to number one. Let's all pray in the spirit. Connect. Connect to the realm of the spirit right now. Posture yourself. You lari bobo koko sulara bakata lari mama kakia mama masulu robo koto lara mama lara yanda. Shule ya lari baba kata lari baba kasa lari yanda. Lei lari di koto loro bo koko sulara bo koko to lara mama malara yanda lari yanda lara. So lari bebe keke ke pamba bo sulara bo koko to lara mama salari kima moloro yondo. Shula riba kata rimu kutu lara mama sila riba kata lari baba balarian dalarian da lo ke malarimu kusuluro bobo loro yondo shula riba kata lari mulo yondo 
Oh, Lere Kema Mosularayanda. Father God, we thank you so much for what you are about to do in us and through us, O oh Lord God. As we are studying your word, we know that our spirit is in the dimension of the spirit, taking a posture to capture things, O oh Lord God, of the spirit. And we should know and learn how to transact, O oh Lord God, in the realm of the spirit from this day on. We know that the spirit of understanding can be received, will be received by our spirit right now. Let the spirit of understanding comes to every one of us, oh God, and let the spirit, Lord God, of the wisdom, oh Lord God, comes upon every one of us right now. The revelation knowledge of thy word, Lord God, will come upon each one of us and we will be received by each one, oh Lord God. And we thank you so much that every one of us is now engaged to capture, oh Lord God, to cut something in the realm of the spirit, Lord God, especially by the word, oh Lord God, through your word. And we will be delivered, oh Lord God, from being carnal in, in our operation in the name of Jesus. No more carnality after this, oh Lord God, in Jesus' mighty name, that we are going to cross over to the new order of life, to the new way of living, oh Lord God, no longer the old, no longer the carnal way, no longer the natural way, Lord God, but the supernatural way, no longer, oh Lord God, the earthly, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, but the heavenly, what is divine, oh Lord God, in Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord God, that our mind our thought, every thought, Lord God, we will learn how to captive every thought, oh Lord God, to be subjected and to be submitted under the power and the will of the, the living God, the word of God, oh Lord God, in Jesus' name. And every thought that exalted against the knowledge of Christ, we pull them down in Jesus' name. We knock them down right now. We are destroying it in Jesus' mighty name. Every bondage, every strongholds and fortresses in the mind of the select are, we are knocking them down and destroying in Jesus' name, every curse, oh Lord God, that they have received, we are declaring forth right now to be set free in Jesus' name. Be free from every curse right now. Be free from every worldly things in Jesus' name, from every materialism, from every worldliness in the name of Jesus. We are declaring forth right now that the spirit of worldliness in the life of the select arrow must be bound now in Jesus' name. And everything that is not of Christ, oh Lord God, we are declaring forth right now. You are defeated, completely defeated in everyone's life in Jesus' name. And I am declaring forth that everyone, oh Lord God, in the select arrow must learn how to rise up, oh Lord God, even more right now in the realm of the spirit, in the realm of Lord God, which you have been positioned as, oh Lord God, to be seated at your right hand, O oh Lord, in the heavenly places. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you, Lord God, today as we progress, O oh Lord God, there shall be a dimension of Christ that is going to be catched, O oh Lord, by each and every one, O oh Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord God, for the understanding that is going to be received by each one. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. Okay, number one. The Holy Spirit must be in me before I can operate in the Spirit. Say it after me. The Holy Spirit must be in me before I can operate in the Spirit. So this is the baseline. Do you receive it? Do you believe it? The Holy Spirit must be in us before we can operate in the Spirit. Because many Christians are saying the Holy Spirit is in them, but yet they are not in the Spirit. They are not operating in the Holy Spirit. Maraming Kristiyanong nagsasabi, yes, I carry the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is in me. Ang tanong, are they operating in the Spirit? Is their dynamic, operational dynamic, is really in the realm of the Spirit? If not, something is questionable. Let's open our Bible to 1 John 3.24. 1 John 3.24 Those who obey His commands live in Him and He in them. And this is how we know that He lives in us. We know it by the Spirit He gave us. So do you have the Holy Spirit? Yes? Okay. So those who obey His commands, are we obeying God's command? He lives in us. Okay? And He in them. When we obey God's command, we are living in God and God is living in us. And this is how we know that he lives in us. When we obey God's command, God's words, God's divine principle, we know it by the spirit that he gave us. Okay, in 1 Peter chapter 4, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 6. 
For this is the reason the gospel was preached even to those who are now dead, so that they might be judged according to men and regard to the body, but live according to God and regard to the spirit. So we carry the spirit of God. You have the Holy Spirit, right? Believe this, that you have the Holy Spirit. Isn't it a great privilege that you and me is the carrier of the Spirit of God? Nung panahon, during the Old Testament time, hindi residential ang Holy Spirit. During the time of Elijah, Elisha, the Old Testament saints, great men and women of God, hindi residential ang Holy Spirit. Yet, their dynamic is so beyond words. They are followed signs and wonders by signs and wonders and miracles. Yet the Holy Spirit is not residential. In our era today, in our dispensation, sa panahon natin ngayon, ang Holy Spirit is residential. But look at the church. What happened to the church? If the Holy Spirit is so powerful, what happened to the church that carrying the Holy Spirit of God? And nung Old Testament time na hindi residential ang Holy Spirit, they are followed by signs, miracles, and wonders. Look at the, the church in Acts. That is the pattern church, the powerful church, governing, prevailing, standing in righteousness, uncompromising, God-fearing. But now, we are in a dispensation that the Holy Spirit is residential. Pero nakita niyo ba ang church? But ngayon, mamanifest ang church, okay? Can we become a part of this church that is so powerful, governing, prevailing? Maraming church ang hindi powerful kasi ang simpleng inutos ng pastor, in simpleng kinuman ng pastor, hindi makasunod. Wala na sa chain of authority. Sa spiritual realm, dislodge na. We cannot be in that kind of posture, okay? So that's why we are training you to be a man and women of spirit. It means govern and rule and led by the Holy Spirit of God so that in the days to come, we know how to follow chain of authority, chain of command. Hindi tayo familiar, hindi tayo casual sa mga inasabi ng mga nakakataas sa atin. Pagdating sa spiritual realm, wala tayong covering pag hindi natin ito ma-master. Pag hindi natin ito nilakaran. Okay? So that's number one. The Holy Spirit must be in me before I can operate in the Spirit. Do you believe this? Okay, say after me once again. The Holy Spirit must be in me before I can operate in the Spirit. Okay, secure this. Ang sinisiris ni Mama La sa Preach It na kita niyo how to secure God's presence. It means how to secure the Spirit of the Living God in our lives by the way we behave, by the way we live, by the way we our attitude is displayed. So titingnan natin ang mga bagay na ito na kailangan mindful tayo. So secure this first. Number two, the spirit of life operating in me is a life of abundance. The spirit of life operating in me is a life of abundance. Okay, say it after me. The spirit of life operating in me is a life of abundance. Okay, do you believe this? Receive this, believe this. So you are in abundance. When you carry the Holy Spirit, may kulang pa ba sayo? That is in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 1 to 2. Write it down in your notes, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 1. Diniscuss na natin ito. Do natin na kayo yung moral excellence. Add to your moral excellence, uh, faith, etc., etc. So, when you carry the Holy Spirit, do you think there is lackness in you? You are carrying the completeness, the, the all and all. So, when we have the Holy Spirit, we are basically in abundance. We should be in abundance, abundance of peace, abundance of joy, abundance in righteousness, abundance in everything. So titingnan natin ito ngayon, mag-evaluate, mag-reflect tayo. Why? The Holy Spirit is the key to all that the Father has for you and for me. 
Can you say it after me once again? The Holy Spirit is the key to all that the Father has for me. Do you believe that? When you have the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit is the one that is going to lead you how to access pathways in the Spirit for your provision. The Holy Spirit is the one who is going to lead you to redefine something in, in our ways of living in, in our life so that when our behavior is uh, redefined and uh, reformed, the way we live has an access to the pathways in the Spirit that was been secured for us by our forefathers in faith. Do you believe and do you agree in this kind of posture, position? So when we have the Holy Spirit, we have all the key because the Holy Spirit is the master key. Okay, kung may mansion, palace, Dito kasi marami kaming palas na dinadaan, nakikita, di ba? Sa Saudi Arabia, maraming palasyo. Pag nakadaan ka sa palasyo ng prince, ng mga royal families, palaces is so big by the hundreds of rooms, hundreds of bathrooms, and the other rooms, okay? That's palaces. May kakilala kami dati na mga Pilipino, pero sila ang parang mayordomo o pinamamahala ng prince na mag-asikaso sa palasyo. Kaya silang may hawak ng master key. Okay? Yung master key, akala mo ay ano lang eh, uh, hindi siya malaki. It's maliit lang, pero tinatawag nilang master key. It can open every door. Pero ngayon, ang mga palaces ngayon, na new build palaces here, ay card na, parang digital na ang kanilang mga uh, door. So, nag-level nag up of course. But back then, this was in 2004, 2000, 2003, kasi maliliit pa nun si Lajoan and Joshua. This Filipino kabayan na, na, na met namin ni Pastor Jerry ay may hawak siyang master key kasi siyang pina, pinagkatiwalaan ng prince na maging overseer sa palace, sa isa sa palasyo ng, ng prince, ng royal prince. And then, May master key siyang hawak. So, pag kahit hindi niya na, kasi imagine nyo, sa dami ng rooms, kung bit-bit niya ang, kanya, ang susi, di ba? Ang bigat ng bank. <laughs> Nakita nyo? So, ang dala-dala lang niya is the master key. Or, yeah, the master key. And then, yung master key na yun, na-access niya lahat ng room. So, pag sinabi nating master key, the Holy Spirit is the master key. Pag govern and led tayo by the Holy Spirit, we can access things that the Holy Spirit allowed us to enter in, led us to enter in. How do you want to be in this kind of living, led and governed by the Holy Spirit? Diba? Privilege. So when the Holy Spirit is in us, we have the life of abundance. Abundance in everything according to our mandate, according to our purpose, according to our assignment. Siyempre yung abundance, ang sukatan ng abundance natin is always according to our mandate, to our divine destiny. Our divine destiny is to be like Christ. Our mandate in assignment is, dapat alam natin, ang problema kung hanggang ngayon, hindi pa natin alam what is your mandate, what is your assignment. So, tanungin ang Holy Spirit. Kaya nga, maging sensitive tayo sa bosses ng Holy Spirit. So, do you receive your abundance? Now, okay, number three. The Spirit operating in me fulfills all law. There's no condemnation. The Spirit operating in me fulfills all law which is higher than the law of Moses. Which is higher than the law of Moses. The Spirit with operating in me fulfills all law which is higher than the law of Moses without any condemnation at all that is stated in Romans chapter 8. We're no longer bound by the outside law because we already carry the kingdom law. If we are outworking and practicing God's word, we are operating already in kingdom law. So, bound ka pa ba ng no smoking? Sa'yo pa ba ang rules or law na no smoking when you enter in as an uh, premises or establishment na may nakalagay no smoking 
Is that love for you? Of course, no, because you are no longer, you are not smoking, tama ba? Uh, how about no sleeping here? Pag hindi ka naman nagmimisbehave doon, that, that law is no longer for you. So we are no longer bound by outside law because we are operating or we are practicing outworking the law of the kingdom to behave well. There's no condemnation at all. We are not lawless anymore. We are not careless. We are not callous. But laws are already written in the heart, the law of the spirit of life, because we carry the Holy Spirit. When the law of the spirit of life is now being alive, become a part of our life, we are no longer bound by the law, outside law. Okay, halimbawa dito sa Saudi Arabia, when they called it a law, grabe sila magpatupad ng batas, ng law. Halimbawa ngayon, one of the law now because of this pandemic, pag naabutan kayo at nakita kayo sa labas, halimbawa sa public places na walang mask at nagtipon-tipon kayo walang mask, pag nahuli ang multa, the fine is 1,000 real each person. And that is 13,000 pesos. Marami na po ba, Mami Glenz, ang nahuli? Upo at nakakalungkot. Kasi ang 13 pesos, <laughs> ang mahal ng mask. Diba ilang mask na yun na bibili noon? <laughs> Mabibili noon. <laughs> Marami na uhuli dito. Kaya nga, we should not be... Careless and callous, isa sa mga batas dito during the pandemic, pag nag-grupo-grupo, pag nagpa-party, more than 20, at pag nahuli, wow, ang multa. Bawat katao, per person ang multa. At ang kung sino ang nagpa-party, mas malaki ang multa. And by the thousand, hundred thousand o pesos pag sa atin. Pinamumulta, yes. Lalo na pag expat kasi di ka makaka-exit. Tika, pagdating mo dun sa immigration, lilitaw kung ilan ang violation mo. Ganun dito. O, isa sa mga batas dito, dati lalo na nung hindi pa nag-migrate ang Saudi Arabia sa pagiging modernized, isa sa mga batas dito mga bata, alam nyo ba, noon hindi pwede ang nag-date dito pag hindi kayo mag-asawa. Halimbawa, Ang binata at dalaga kumain sa restaurant at na found out na hindi sila mag-asawa, walang naipakitang marriage contract, marriage certificate, ipinapasara ang restaurant na nag-accommodate sa kanila at yung nahuli na mag-girlfriend or boyfriend kung expat, kung foreigner ay pinabibilanggo, papipiliin, deport or kulong. Siyempre, pipiliin mo na lang deport. We have an experience. Isa na namin doon, member ng church, dati-dati pa. That was 2001. 2000. 2000. Isa sa mga uma-attend-attend doon sa um, nahuli sila sa is hindi ko na sasabihin, babanggitin ko sana yung <laughs> store. Basta sports store. Mga tindahan sila ng mga gamit sa sports. Naabutan sila, hiningyan sila ng ano, ng authority, ng marriage contract. Walang maipakita. Nako, tumawag kay Pastor Jerry. Pinapipili siya, deport or kulong. <laughs> Sabi ni Pastor Jerry, piliin mo ang deport. <laughs> piliin ang deport. Imagine, imagine. And yet, dalaga at binata. Dalaga at binata. So that is law dito. Hanggang ngayon pa ay hindi pa yan masyado maluwag dito. Kaya nga, alam nyo ba, this kind of environment that we have in Saudi Arabia, I took advantage to build the family because this kind of environment is very conducive to build a family and a generation. Walang sinihan dati. Walang disco. Walang karaoke, wala. Only mall, parks, and resort. At pagpupunta sa resort, hindi ka pwede na pumunta doon na babae lang o lalaki. It should be a family kasi mayroon ng dalawang pinto. Pag sa resort o restaurant o sa park, dalawa ang gate. Bachelor and family. Kung family kayo, syempre sa family kayo na pintuan. Pag sa bachelor, Di pwede doon ang family, lalo na ang mga babae. Kaya noon, 
ganun kahigpit dito. Pati sa park, hinukuli sa park ang mga bachelor na hindi kasama na walang kasamang family. At uh, ang family pwede doon pumasok sa bachelor area ng mga park kasi kasamang family. But the bachelor, pag hindi kasama, walang kasamang family, hindi makapunta doon sa area ng family. Ganun dito noon. At hanggang ngayon pa naman, pero medyo nagmodern na. Hindi na tinanggal na nila ang pintuan na bachelor and family. Pwede na pumasok sa iisa because of the prince that migrated the thinking pattern to build a generation for the future. Praise God! I believe it's a result of our prayer, of our declaration as a church. Tama ba? May nangyayari sa ground. Maraming pinagbag, pinagbago dito. So nasabi ko lang yon, kasi yun ay mga batas dito. Hindi dito pwede dati, hanggang ngayon naman, ang nakashort at sando papasok ng mall, no, 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 no. Hindi pwede. Long short, pwede. Sa mga lalaki, okay? Sa mga babae, no. Hindi pwede. Kaya nga, we wear an abaya here. Ngayon, medyo okay na. Si Mrs. Garais, nakakalabas na ng nakalong sleeve at nakapants kahit wala ng abaya. But the modesty is still there. Isn't it kingdom? Diba? Pag sa, sa beach nga noon, ang mga... Ang mga iba nang liligo di abaya. Pero ngayon hindi na pang maliligo at least yung mga panligo na long sleeve at saka leggings. They, are, they allowed it in the so many beaches right now. So, yun ang mga batas dito. But kung hindi mo naman talaga yung ginagawa, you are not bound by this law because the law of the spirit is now operating in us which is the law of life. Tama ba? I hope na discuss ko yun nang tama. Number four, The spirit operating in me will set me free from the law of sin and death. The spirit operating in me, can we can we say it? Say after me, the spirit operating in me will set me free from the law of sin and death. It has something to do with our soul and body. It has something to do with our soul and body. Set free from the law of sin and death, free from carnality. Okay? Free from operating in slavery or free from operating as natural mere man. Sabi ni Paul sa Galatians. We are being set free to operate in righteousness in the law of Spirit of life. So, hindi ka na bound of the law of sin and death. You are set free from it. We are delivered and set free. Freed from this kind of law, sin and death. Wala na yan. It's no longer in motion to you because we carry the nature of Christ. We, we are carrying the spirit of Christ, the word of God, okay? It means this number four is we are set. We are being set free from every carnality. So do you believe that if the indwelling of the Holy Spirit is real in us, we're making a difference because we will be so careful, careful not to be careless or nor callous in our daily talk and walk. The way we behave, the way we live, the way we are operating in this earth are honorable. Kaya nga kailangan buhay talaga sa atin ng Holy Spirit ay carry natin. Kasakasama natin ang Holy Spirit. Sabi ni Mama La, your distance between the Holy Spirit and you is just a breath away. Our distance from the spiritual realm is just a thought away. Do you believe this? Okay, number five. The spirit needs your mind to be actively involved so that you're, you're consciously willing to choose his ways. The spirit needs your mind to be actively involved so that you're consciously willing to choose his ways. So, ang ating kaisipan ay kailang-kailangan ng ating inner man at saka ng Holy Spirit. Kailangan hindi ang ating kaisipan occupied ng mga bagay na hindi naman divine, na hindi absolute, na hindi truth. Any thoughts that 
does not manifesting Christ is an error, sabi ni Pastor Cyrus. Do you agree on that? Any thoughts that does not want to manifest the attitude, the character, the life of Christ is an error. Kaya i-screen ang thought. I-screen, i-screen. Test, test every thought. Test every thing that comes into your mind. The random thoughts must be tested. So the Spirit needs your mind. The Spirit needs our mind to be actively involved so that you will consciously willing to choose His ways. Because sa inyo mga bata, it's so easy to decide between right and wrong. Of course, between divine and demon, it's so easy to decide. But what about if it is parehong right? Which is honorable or which is beneficial? Tama? Saan ka ba magbe-benefit? Which is beneficial and building material? Doon ang pagpipili. Kasi madali lang piliin. Divine and demon, of course. Divine. Right and wrong, of course. Right. But if this is all right, pagpare-pareho right, saan tayo doon? Kaya kailangan natin ang Holy Spirit. Beneficial and profitable. Is it beneficial and profitable? Doon tayo mag-settle. Kung pareho right ang pagpipilian. Kaya kailangan natin ang guidance at leading ng Holy Spirit bawat isa. Para ang pagpipili natin, ang decision making natin is we can decide intelligently according to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Willing with reason and understanding. Kasi maraming Kristiyano na willing pero hindi reasonable. <laughs> hindi na, na understand. Okay? So, para hindi matanggal ang iniquity in our heart. Do you know, mga bata, when the, the Bible say iniquity, it is not in alignment to the will of God. Kaya in naging iniquity because our will is in conflict to the will of God. Our will is against the will of God. Lalo sa mga pag-aasawa, ay nako, babantayan ito. Baka doon tayo sa iniquity, ha? God forbid, and this must not be your portion. Sa mga magpagpipili ng partner in this destiny. Pariyo naman po Christian. Mahirap po magpili pariyo mag-Christian. Okay, sa stature ka. Ang stature, hindi mo naman makikita. Buti kung nakikita sa x-ray ang stature. Nakikita ang stature, nakakapang stature pag may nag-operate ka sa superior discernment. Nakakapang stature pag nakita mo how to handle things, difficult things. Doon mo masusukat ang stature. Eh, hindi ka naman lagi nandoon. Tama ba? But it is by the result. Okay, number six. The spirit living in me produces life and peace and righteousness. The spirit living in me produces life and peace. It means we are walking in righteousness. The spirit, the spirit living in me produces life and peace. A life that is not in conflict with God. A life that is not in conflict with the Word of God, of course. If the Holy Spirit living adequately in us, no contention at all, no iniquity, no conflict that would arise, we are receiving the Word of God hook, line, and sinker. We are receiving it all. Walang conflict, walang contention sa loob. Pero pag hindi pa kayo ngayon nasa peaceful environment, peaceful atmosphere, nasa peaceful na frequencies, something that is missing or that needs to be fixed. No conflict in our heart. It means nothing rise up inside us against the Word of God. Nothing rise up inside us or within you to fight back or challenge the Word of God. Because when we are in this situation, every time we are receiving the word or when we receive a certain, or when we hear a certain word, certain truth, meron ng conflict, may contention, na challenge mo ang word. We are living in error. We are living in error. So take back. Take it back. How to take it back is just to decide immediately. So number six, the spirit living in me produces life and peace. Kung wala kang kapayapaan ngayon, 
ang tanong, anong espiritu ang nakatira sa iyo? Walang kapayapaan kasi ibang espiritu ang nakatira. Wow. Eh kaninong espiritu po yun nagtatanong pa? Kanino bang espiritu ang walang kapayapaan? Hindi sa jablo. <laughs> so, hindi tayo magni-nickname. May iba pang nickname ang jablo, demon. <laughs> ano pa? It's the enemy. So, kung wala kang kapayapaan ngayon, fix it. Pray about it. Okay? So, let's all pray right now. Kung wala tayong kapayapaan, let's engage in prayer. Oh God, we pray right now that the spirit of peace, oh Lord God, will be our portion today. In the name of Jesus, right at this moment of time, we are breaking right now everything that create confusion. We are breaking right now that create, oh Lord God, this uh, anxiousness. In the name of Jesus, a state of the spirit without peace be bound now in Jesus' name. We are coming against you. We are pushing out that spirit that causes us not to have peace in Jesus' name. Whatever that kind of demon, whatever that kind of spirit that is tormenting, O oh Lord God, our spirit, we are commanding that to be bound in Jesus' name. Get out from every one of us, those who are uh, disturbed, those who are confused, those who are insecure, those who are not living in a peaceful life. In the name of Jesus, we are declaring forth right now that peace must be our portion because we carry the Holy Spirit of God. We carry the word of God. We carry a dimension of heaven, O Lord. We carry a dimension of the, uh, the heaven, O Lord. And therefore, there, uh, there is peace in us. There is life in us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. So that is number six. Number seven, when the spirit dwells in me, I have an opportunity to dwell in the spirit. When the spirit dwells in me, I have an opportunity to dwell in the spirit. New dimension, a spiritual realm. No longer in the flesh, but in the spirit. No longer operating as carnal, but spirit man. No longer operating that is being bound by earthly things, or bound by uh, the things of this world, but uh, operating in the dimension of the spirit, spirit man, okay, led by the spirit of God. When we, you dwell in the spirit, you live as Jesus operates. Hallelujah. When we dwell in the spirit or when we operate in the spirit, we live as Jesus operates when he was on the earth. When he was on the earth, he, that is the way Jesus lives. Okay. When Jesus was on the earth thousand years ago, he wept. He thirst, he hunger, he's natural, yet he is supernatural because he's the visible representation of the invisible God when he was on earth, right? He slept, he is, he's exhausted, he got tired, of course. In the same body, Jesus is operating in the dimension of heaven. Naalala nyo, nung panahon na magpapakain siya sa 5,000 people except the women and the children, 5,000 men ang counting sa Bible, ano ang ginawa niya? He just pray because somebody volunteered for uh, five loaves and two fishes. He just prayed and napakain niya yung more than 10,000, I believe, na tao. At ano, 12 full of baskets pa ang sobra. Supernatural. He is in the natural, but operating, living in the supernatural, in the dimension of the spirit. Naalala nyo nung siya ay nasa bangka, nasabi ng mga disciple na nag-operate sa natural. Sa natural, nag-operate ng mga disciple. Natutulog si Jesus. Peaceful na peaceful. Sabi niya, Lord, hindi mo ba kami pinagmamalasakitan? This is my version. Hindi niyo ba kami pinagmamalasakitan? Bakit natutulog kayo in the midst of the storm? In the midst of the storm. Si Jesus na mapayapang natutulog sa bangka because He know His position. He know where He lives. Ano ang sinabi niya? You of little faith. Sabi niya, He stopped the wind. He said and spoke to the storm of peace, to the waves. Naging peaceful just by His Word. Yun ang portion natin, mga bata. Do you agree on this? 
Do you believe this? That we are in the natural, but we can operate in the supernatural. Because Jesus is the pattern. Jesus is the role model. If he can operate in the realm of the spirit, in the supernatural, while he was on earth, that is our portion also. Do you receive this? Do you receive this? Okay, so no longer in the flesh. Kaya ang mga works of the flesh pinapatay. Huwag kayo maghabol ng popularity. Ay, kailangan popular tayo kasi si ganito sikat na rin. Uh, do not be deceived by the spirit of popularity because the kingdom is not popular. Akala nyo, wala lang ginagawa ngayon ang church. Tapos namalaya natin, nagmanifest ang kingdom. Ang mahirap kung hindi tayo naging part kasi naging casual tayo. But may this not be your portion. Wala lang kasi salt nga eh. Salt. We are the salt and light of the world. Are we the salt and light of the world? So pag salt, hindi nakikita. Hindi sikat. Sino ba ang nagluto at nakita ang salt? Hindi mo nakikita pero nalalasahan. The impact is felt, being felt. So im ang impact ng salt ay nalalasahan. So da ganun tayo, impactful dapat. Kahit hindi sikat pero may impact. Kasi ang kingdom ay hindi naman dahil sa sikat tayo. Kaya kung mayroon kayong mga thought na, ay gumawa tayo ng ganito kasi para sikat tayo, para ma-recognize tayo. Ay nako, ah, hindi bali nang huwag tayo ma-recognize dito sa earth. Basta sa realm of the spirit, recognize ang stature natin doon. Kasi doon, doon, doon ang importante. Recognize na sikat na sikat ka nga dito sa earth. Sa stature, di ka, ma, di ka makita. Kaya advantage yun ang jablo. And this must not be our portion. Alam niyo ba, ba mga bata, dinadahan-dahan ko ito para maliwanag sa atin para pagkatapos ng series na ito, ang panalangin ko, equalize tayo, lahat tayo sa dimension agad. Praise God. When we speak God's word, something is in motion on the ground. Kaya pag sinabi niyo itong education na to Align to the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus. Do not worry this generation. Do not kill and, and put to death this generation. Therefore, we are prophesying, declaring to the domain of education life and taking back the, the generation life for, from this education domain. In the name of Jesus, we infuse life. We infuse the life of God upon the domain of education. There shall be a turn over, a turn around of the curriculum. That the curriculum is the one that is going to build and equip a generation that will become a workforce for the nation. In Jesus' name, no longer the spirit of death that will influence this education domain. When we prophesy like that, everything will align. Everything will be in motion. This word shall come to pass. We can take back domain of education. Amen? We can take back. Na para sa mga anak nyo, pagdating ng araw, ang education domain ay life na ang carry. Hindi na kagaya ngayon na parang pinapatay ang generation. So we really need to rise up. We really need to rise up. We really need to be very strong. You really need to be very strong because this domain of education, ang, ang nandun ngayon, ang naghari-harian doon ngayon ay what? Galing ng impyerno. Portal ng impyerno. Dapat maridim natin yan. Tama ba? Maridim sa spirit dimension. Number seven. Ah, sorry. Number eight. Number eight. When I dwell in the spirit, I can renew my body. I can determine what happens physically, naturally, literally. When I dwell in the spirit, when we live there, okay? In the spirit. I can renew my body. I can determine what happens physically, naturally, literally. We can redesign. We can restore. We can reinvent ourselves. We can recreate by the words, through the words, by the way we live, by the way we speak, by the way we prophesy. When we decree, things in the spirit are in motion to be on the ground. Everything will just line up when we declare, when our stature grows, when we when our stature matured, when we speak God's word, things are in motion on the ground upon the earth. Nakakuha ba natin mga minamahal kong select araw? So, when I dwell in the spirit, say after me, 
When I dwell in the spirit, I can renew my body. I can determine what happens physically, naturally, literally. I can redesign. I can restore. I can recreate. I can reinvent myself. And I can, re I can recreate my environment. Do you believe this? Do you believe this? Receive this. Receive this. That's you. That's you and me. Okay? When we speak God's word, that becomes a part of us. And when we prophesy to the domain of educa education, for example, that domain of education has nothing to do but to line up to what we decree in the realm of the spirit. That's so powerful. How powerful is what you carry is Im unimaginable. Kaya lang, Ang mind natin ang naghihinder, ang nagsasabutahe. Kaya nga, we need to be very mindful of what we are thinking. Number nine, if the Spirit of God dwells in me, I will never go back to slavery. Say after me, if the Spirit of God dwells within me, I will never go back to slavery. I will rise to sonship. Okay, coming to a place and position of sonship. Do you believe this? As a servant of Christ, okay, no longer slave to this world, to the system of this world. No longer a slave of materialism, materialistic. Hindi yan, espiritu yan. Ang pagiging materialistic ay espiritu yan. Yung laging nag-hoard, bili dito, bili nito, hindi naman mga kailangan. Please, protect what you have right now, financially. Be wise in spending right now. Doon sa mga may negosyo, hindi kayo dapat bili ng bili. Ang mga need lang talaga. Kaya kailangan makasama ang Holy Spirit, led by the Holy Spirit. We should be a slave to righteousness. Saan lang tayo maging alipin sa katwiran? Sabihin mo sa yung sa, sa yung katabi or kung tayo ay lang ay mag-isa, I am I'm a slave to righteousness. That's all. Ano kung ano lang ang katuwi, ang matuwid, kung ano lang ang banal, kung ano lang ang ang divine, kung ano lang ang superior. That's the word of God. Yun doon tayo maging alipin. So redeem we are redeemed from slavery, we are free from slavery, slavery to doctrines, yung mga wrong doctrines. You are free from that. Amen. Do not entertain wrong doctrines. Kaya nga masanay tayo sa paghandle ng truth. Love the truth para maproteksyonan tayo sa sa panahon ng deception. Love the truth. Because pag sanay na sanay tayo, mag-handle ng truth, you know what's fake. You know what's counterfeit, right? So uh, uh, sanayin natin. Uh, be sure that what we are taking in is only the spirit of truth. Love the truth. Okay, we are free and redeemed from the slavery to things, materialism. Don't hoard. Stop hoarding. Paano po ang hoarding, Mami Glenn? Yung bili ng bili ng mga hindi naman kailangan. Uh, basura yan pagdating ng oras, anang uh, araw o masasayang. Kung ano lang yung kailangan. Ay, kailangan ko to kasi pang display. Nakupuno na ang dingding ng bahay. <laughs> Protect what you have. Huwag i-spend ang mga meron kayo ngayon financially sa mga bagay na hindi nyo naman kailangan. Okay? Uh, paano lang i-spend yan? Sa talagang urgent and need na lang natin i-spend yun. Maging wise tayo sa spending. Ang mga hindi magre-return ng profit, ang mga hindi magre-return ng income, don't spend it on those things. Kasi mga ano lang yun, paek-ek ng buhay. Uh, tingnan nyo ang mga bagay. Mag-inventory kayo sa bahay. Ako, ako, ako mismo, alam na mga anak ko, I always do an inventory at home. Ang, hindi ito. Huwag bibili ng ganito kasi meron dito. Huwag dito na, I am strict to this. Kasi hindi yun pagdating ng araw mapapakinabangan. Huwag tayong bili ng bili ngayon na pagdating ng araw ibibenta mo kasi nangangailangan ka ng financial. Nung may finances ka, hindi mo prinoteksyonan, binibuli ka ng bumili ng maraming bagay. Kaya nung nangailangan ka ng finances, binibenta mo na yun ng mga binili mo maraming bagay. O di ba Mami Glenn's okay lang. Hindi wise yun. We need to be wise. We really need to operate in superior wisdom. We are free and uh, from slavery of, to wrong spirit. Ano ba mga wrong spirit? Yung mga insecurity, anxiousness, worriness, controlling, manipulation, greed. That's the spirit. Mga dirty spirit yan. We should be free from this. When we have the Holy Spirit 
if we have the Holy Spirit, if the Spirit of God dwells within me, if Spirit of God dwells within you, we are set free. We will never go back to slavery to things, slavery to doctrines, wrong doctrines, slavery to wrong spirits, slavery to men. Yung pagpiplease ng tao, please do not be a man pleaser. Be a God pleaser. Slavery to self. Yung lagi sarili, selfish, okay? Slavery to things of this world. Be set free from this, okay? Say after me, I will never go back to slavery. That is in verse 14. Tingnan nyo, that's in verse 14. Okay, number 10. When the Spirit of God dwells within me, He guides, He leads, He governs so that we will walk in the same way as Christ, the Son of God. Okay, when the Spirit of God dwells in me, within me, He guides, He leads, He governs so that we will walk in the same way as Christ, the Son. When he was on earth, live like Christ, talk like Christ, walk like Christ, think like Christ. That is the number 10. Inisa-isa ko para at dinahan-dahan ko para maliwanag sa atin. So, review that and then let's all read the declaration. You have your copy in the declaration. Let's all declare this right now. So, ready? One, two, three, go. In the natural, I am in Jubail, Saudi Arabia. But because of the Spirit dwelling within me, I am also in the heavenly places. I am granted a citizenship in heaven. Therefore, I am present in two places at the same time, touching two dimensions, both heaven and earth. I am in the physical, but the Holy Spirit lives in me and dwells in me. And because he dwells in me, he can take me up to a new dimension in the spirit. Through the Holy Spirit, I am joined with Christ in the heavenly places. I am seated with him in the heavenly places. We are one in spirit. In Christ, I receive a new position above all principalities and powers on earth and in the spirit. I live in the spirit and I touch the heavenlies. I live in the spirit and I touch the one who is on the throne. I draw from Christ in the spirit. I do not draw from the world. Although I am in this world, I am not of this world. Once I take from this world, I will only have scarcity. But in Christ, I have abundance, blessed with every spiritual blessing. Everything I need in this life, I do not and should not draw from this world. But I will and I should draw from him because he is the source of life. He is my source and he is life. Do you agree on this? Amen? Amen. So that is your portion. We are living in two places at the same time. We are here. We are here right now conducting a select arrow session in the clouds physically. But if we posture our spirit if we posture our spirit right according to God's word, our spirit is in the heavenly realms, in the spiritual realms. Do you receive this? Do you agree this? Let's open as we close to Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3. Praise be to God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us in the heavenly realms. Where is the blessing? In the heavenly realms. Okay. Who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. Some spiritual blessing or one spiritual blessing. No. Every spiritual blessing. May kulang pa? No. No luck. Pero saan natin yung kukunin? Saan i-access? In the spiritual realm. In the heavenly realm places okay in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 20 which he exerted in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly realms Jesus Christ was seated at the right hand of the father where in the heavenly realms okay and then so Ephesians chapter 2 verse 6 
And God raised us up with Christ. Do we, do we have Christ in our inner man? Yes. Do we have the Holy Spirit? Yes. In verse 6, in God raised us up with Christ and seated us with Him. So, saan tayo nakaupo? With Him in the heavenly realms, in the heavenly places, in Christ Jesus, in order that in the coming ages He might show the incomparable riches of His grace expressed in His kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and it's in this not from yourselves. It is the gift of God that not by works, so that no one can boast. So where are you now? Spiritually, in the heavenly realms, in the heavenly places. Naturally, physically, we are here, but actually, the truth is. My spirit is seated at the right hand of the Father in Christ Jesus. So kung ang posture natin every day when we wake up in the morning, I am seated at the right hand of the Father in Christ Jesus, far above all rules, all powers, all authority. And the enemy is far below. When we speak the word of God, when we decree, when we pray, when we prophesy, God's word. And we are in the position, things will just line up because you are speaking, you are decreeing, you are legislating the word of God in the spirit, in the position where Christ positioned you to be. Where? In the heavenly places, seated at the right hand of the Father. Pag nasa right hand ka of the Father, God the Father, at kasama mo ang Panginoong Jesus, may hipo ba sa'yo? na masamang espirito. Ang tanong, may hipo ba? Wala. Ang mind ang nagsasabutahe ng position natin doon sa spiritual realm. But if we condition, if we have this kind of mindset, mentality that I am position, not because we are finished this kind of PhD, but because we believe that I am saved by faith through grace, and I am positioned and seated at the right hand of the Father in Christ Jesus in the heavenly realms, in the spiritual realms. So, pag sinabi, halimbawa nag-preach si Mama La, when sinabi ni Mama La, posture yourself to catch. Ibig sabihin, I immediately, when we are watching Mama La's preaching, yung every Sunday at saka yung preaches, I posture immediately in the spirit. My mindset is that I am positioned seated at the right hand of the Father in Christ Jesus, in the heavenly realms. Yes, physically, nag-online classes kayo, pero kung ang posture mo every time you have an online classes is in the heavenly realms, magugovern ka kaya ng caring na spirito ng teacher mo? Magugovern ka kaya ng caring na spirito ng kaklase mo na nag-report? Hindi. Ano ang mga masisense mo? Masisense mo, ah, ang teacher ko, anxious na anxious. I am not allowing my spirit to be influenced by what my teacher is carrying right now. In the name of Jesus, you are the one who is governing. Tama ba? You are prevailing. Why? You position yourself in the heavenly places. So saan tayo ngayon nakaposisyon? Kahit mayroon tayo ng select arrow in the clouds, we are in the heavenly realms. Posture yourself there. Imagine mo lagi. Pag nasa difficult time ka, imagine. Your mind must be set there. I am seated at the right hand of the one who created the heavens and the earth and the fullness thereof. O may takot ka ba na nandun ka sa katabi niya? Kasama mo pa ang Panginoong Isus, ang Holy Spirit ay nandoon. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit is with you. O anong fear ang aatake sa'yo? Are we receiving this? Do we believe this? So, pag nasa online classes, you are in a, kaharap ka ng computer physically, naturally, yes, nandun ka, but supernaturally, spiritually, your spirit is positioned dapat in the heavenly realms. Na kukuha na natin ito. Nakukuha na natin. Kaya ang mga spirito na nag-hover sa 
online classes, hindi ka doon magpapag-govern. The spirit of anxiousness, the stressful atmosphere and frequency, you are the one that is declaring to that spirit, that frequency, you are not going to fine-tune my spiritual frequency because I am seated at the right hand of the Father, of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the Mighty One. So, ano ang laban nila? Sa nandoon ka na kaposisyon. Kaya nga, the enemy is far below. Ang mind, babantayan. Okay, pag nanonood sa social media, kung nanonood kayo sa social media, nag-scroll-scroll sa IG nyo, ano pang mga uh, account nyo sa social media, pag karnal na karnal kayo na, kaya ang inggit mag-ooperate, ang insecurity mag-ooperate, ang kung ano-ano, ay sana all, yung mga expression nyo na ganon, Okay lang yun kung mga pabiro, pero kung may hugo talaga, ibig sabihin, may something is wrong. So, demolish that something is wrong. Pag-uusapan natin sa susunod, yung 11 to 20, at sa susunod, pag-uusapan natin, bakit maraming mga believer na pinagharian na ng Holy Spirit, ang sa spiritual realm ay hindi pa rin makaposture kasi wala sa proper chain of authority. Yun ang titingnan natin. How we relate how we behave when our pastor told us something like this about God's word. Yun ay mga, kasi doon may order. Sa heavenly realms, may, may batas, may law. If we have a law in the, in, on earth, sa mga bansa, lalo na doon, kasi kingdom. Sa heavenly realm, may batas. At ang batas doon na pinatutupad, kagaya ng honor and respect, proper chain of authority, kung may tampo kayo sa mga pastor nyo, ay, wala na doon, hindi na masalat ang stature nyo doon. Pag may tampo kayo, o may, may inggit, spirit ng inggit, spirito ng may offense, doon sa spiritual realm, para yang sa dagat na mayroong nasugatan at ang pating ay naamoy ang dugo, Ganon din doon sa lang sa spiritual realm. Pag may offended heart tayo, may offense na carry o may inggit na carry or anxiousness na carry sa spiritual realm, ang signal mo doon ay kitang-kita kaya may advantage sa iyo ang enemy. But this must not be your portion. Kaya nga lagi at paulit alam to ng mga select araw nung una pa. Paulit-ulit ako sa kanila bago mag-umpisa ang session, pakatapos ng session, be clean, be pure. Be uncontaminated because in the spiritual realm, ang nakikita doon, ang nasasalat doon, stature of Christ dapat. Pag may wrong thing, kitang-kita yan ng enemy sa atin. At yun ang advantage niya para tayo ay magapit niya. So, but this not be our portion. Okay, nag, nag overtime tayo mga bata. And my apology for this overtime. But I want to really in my heart to think this down into our our spirit dahil ito ang kailangan kailangan natin ang mga ferocious generation in the days to come are those that has a position in the spirit that knows their position and how to operate there with Christ and the generation that will rule and reign with Christ on earth in the future are those generation, are those people that know and understand their position and posture in the spirit. Alam nila kung nasan sila pagdating sa mga bagay na ito. They know their battles well. They know how to fight well. Why? Alam nila kung sino ang kasama nila. Alam nila ang position nila kung saan. So ito yon. I really believe that you are the part of that generation, that ferocious generation, that uncompromising generation. Pag ma-outwork natin ito ng tama. Amen? I would like to acknowledge once again the presence of our pastora na yumi na silip ko ng kunti. <laughs> At salamat sa iyong oras, pastor na yumi. And all your presence, thank you so much, mga bata. Dalangin ko na ang mga pinag-aralan natin ngayon ay reviewin nyo kung nagsulat kayo at kung hindi kayo nag-outline, ito ay pakinggan nyo ulit pag in-upload ni Pastor Jerry. Pakinggan nyo ulit dahil importante ito pag nag-manifest na kasi ang kingdom. Ang pinakamahirap yung nasa presumptuous tayo na akala mo kasama ka hindi pala. 
Wow. So to be in a great day of the Lord is a choice. To be in a dreadful day of the Lord is a choice. Kaya na natin, okay? So starting now, now after, after right after our select arrow, be mindful. Our posture, our position is in the heavenly places. We can operate and we can live in two dimensions at the same time. So habang kumakain kayo, conscious ka na nandoon. Kaya hindi ka, ano ba naman yan? O sino bang magkakabihib ng ganyan? Kung kasama mo, you are seated at the right hand of the Father, tapos sinasabihan mo, ano ba naman yan? Ay, nako, magbibehave talaga tayo ng tama. Royal and regal. Pati pagpapapicture mo, magbibehave ka ng tama kasi you send signal in the heavenly realms. Okay? Maliwanag. Reviewin niyo yung dimensions of earth and dimensions of heaven. Yung te na yun para maging natural na sa atin. Ito yung tinatawag na we are living in heaven while on the earth. Okay? So live. Starting today. Live in heaven while on the earth. Behave in heaven while on the earth. Okay? Because we are a citizen of heaven. And therefore, we should behave as one. Okay? God bless us all. Mapapahaba pang extension. <laughs> God bless us all. Our love to you. And be safe. Bye-bye to all. See you on Saturday. Tapusin natin sa Saturday. At paano ang susunod nating session? Paano mag-behave sa heavenly realms? while here on earth, okay?